Uh, Steve coming to you today, and uh, I ain't made a video in a while, but the uh, Lord was stirring on my heart this morning. Uh, we see all these people uh, talking about their opinions and their ideals of how to do this and how to fix that, talking about gun control and everything else in this life. And the Lord began steering in my spirit this morning, and, and here's the deal, guys. Our opinions and our ways... What we think might work, what we think we need to do, ain't going to work. i tell you the problem today. A lot of people saying it's not a gun problem, it's a heart problem, it's not this, it's that, it's this. And that. Here's the truth to the matter. Bible says in Psalms 9, I think verse 17, somewhere in there, says that any nation that forgets God will be turned to hell. That's what's happening today in America. Uh, we've seen the progression over the last 25, 35 years of how things have changed. And we see that uh, uh, how that people have forgotten God, how that people are not serving God, how they're banishing God from everything coming and going. Uh, we took him out of schools. They're taking him out of courthouses. And guess what? Me and you are taking him out of our homes and out of our lives. And, and we expect God to bless us. And we expect God to move for us. And, and we expect God to do this and to do that. And, and we expect God to step in. Amen. But God's not going to step in where he's not welcome. And God's not going to step in where he is not uh, asked to be there. And, and he, where he's banned from. God's not going to impose himself upon us and, and everybody thinks they've got the right answer. Everybody thinks they've got the what they, what we need to do and, and this is how we should do it. All these politicians, all these people sitting at home, they think they've got everything figured out and then if they do it this way, that everything would be better. But I'm here to tell you there's only one way and there's only one answer for this. Amen. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves down and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will heal their wicked land. Let me tell you today, amen, it's going to take you, it's going to take me, it's going to take everybody, amen, to turn away from these wicked deeds that we do, these things that we invite in, these things that we that we serve, these things that we put before God, amen, we've got to humble ourselves down, we've got to turn from our wicked ways, we've got to to seek his face like never before. If we want God to move, then we're going to have to do it his way, not our way and not our thoughts and not our process. We've got to turn away from everything that we are doing. We've got to turn away from idolatry. We've got to turn away from chasing the money. we got to turn away from sex. we got to get rid of the drugs and the alcohol. We've got to banish these things. We've got to get away from all that and serve God. We've all got our own ideals of what might work. We've all got our own thought process of how things might work out. But I'd rather listen to what thus saith the Lord. He said, if my people, that's everybody that's called themselves a Christian, everybody that's, that claims to be saved, that's his people. He says, if my people, he ain't talking about those that's not his people, not talking about those that's out here living in sin, not talking about those out here that's running amok back and forth causing chaos. He said, if my people shall humble themselves down and turn from their wicked ways and seek his face, he's talking to you and I, the church. There's something wrong. Hey Amen. There's something wrong with us. We have not humbled ourselves. We've not seeked him like we ought to. And we're not turning away from this wickedness in this life. We'd rather turn around and justify our sin to make us feel good instead of getting down to the place, amen, where God can speak and move to us. Amen. Today, you want to answer to all life's troubles and all these things that's going on? Humble yourself before God. All of us. Turn from our wicked ways. Seek our face. Seek God's face. Seek his face. Seek his will. And he will move for us. That's what it's going to take today. If my people, not if these people's laws, not that these people here, not these, not them. If my people, 
if the chosen generation, the royal priesthood, would get off of their horse, get off of their horse, humble themselves down before God, seek His face and pray, and turn from our wicked ways, then we're going to hear from heaven, and He's going to heal our land. But not until then, and not unless we do it all. We can't just do part of that. We've got to do it all. Amen. You want to see a change? Let it change you first. Then it'll change your home. Then it'll change your community. Then it'll change your town. Then it'll change your country. Seek His face today. Turn from your wicked ways. Get off your horse and be humble. And let God move for you. And He will move for our land. Amen. We want to see things change. We got to do it God's way. Our way won't work. We got to do it His way. Amen. That's what the Lord's impressed upon my spirit this morning. Amen. I hope that today that you'll click the share and the like button. Amen. Get this word out there. The more people we can touch and more people that we can uh, spread this word to, the greater. Amen. It will be. Let's have a revival breakout. It's not going to unless we seek His face and humble ourselves and turn from our wicked ways. Amen. We don't want to see the progression of this life uh, of America get any worse. So let's do what God says. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Jesus loves you. God bless.